guys, Dan here, and today I have a mysterious black box right in front of me, right here. Um, well, if you didn't know, it was actually the battle pack, or, or not even battle pack, actually, it's just the War of the Giants reinforcements. Um, kind of funny, because obviously there is a battle pack, I think battle pack 2, War of the Giants, so this is actually a continuation, I think, or an extension towards that set. Um, yeah, funny enough, this, well, funny enough, this set is kind of, like, irrelevant, <laughs> Um, when it came out, because, well, originally it was actually supposed to be a very good set. Um, it was hyped because of the fact that there was reprints like Number 11 Big Eye, High Priestess of Prophecy, ones that were very, obviously, difficult to get and extremely expensive, like in the 50 to 60 pound range. Um, but, as of recently, well, when this came out it was recently, it wasn't, you know, at the right time because everything that was literally, I guess, meta or valuable in the set became pretty much, you know, overrun by other kind of archetypes and, you know, most of the cards weren't valued as much after this. So really the set didn't actually um, meet, uh, meet up to its expectations. So, yeah. But um, as I just mentioned, you do get number 11 Big Eye, which is still a really good card, I guess. Um, great rank 7, obviously, you can steal your opponent's monster it is pretty... Ridiculous. Um, High Priestess, I guess, is still good. But yeah, apart from that, I don't think there's much else in this set that's brilliant. I mean, they did have Draguti uh, Vajrayana, but then they basically uh, banned Dragon Ravine, which pretty much killed all Dragon uh, Dragonities. So yeah. Anyway, I'm going to open this box because, I mean, I do don't want to hear me talking the whole time, so let's get on with this really quickly. Um, funnily enough, uh, this is kind of like a strange box, I guess. Like, I remember seeing a few of these, and it's just like a... Yeah, just... The uh, standard... I remember these boxes back in... Like, the original Yu-Gi-Oh! was like, I think... The Duelist Patch, like Jaden Yuki, uh, Chaz Princeton. That kind of style. Like, having it vertical instead of um, horizontal, I guess. Because this is... Longer vertically than horizontally. Anyway, so yeah. You get 10 packs per box and 16 cards per pack, so they're quite thick packs. Um, I actually opened premium gold, so they are pretty similar in size, I guess. Maybe a little thicker on the premium gold because it's probably the higher rarity cards, but uh, yep, let's see what we get in our first pack. So we have a, you can see that, memory loss, uh, DDS for Star Sparrow, AD Changer. Dimension Slice, Evil Swarm Salamander, Destiny Hero Defender, Berserk Scales, Medium the Ice Barrier, Lucky Iron Axe, and a Ultra Rare Zubawa General. And um, yeah, this is probably the worst Ultra in the set. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention you do get a um, Ultra and I think it's five supers if I can remember. So Chowlin the Prophet, Sergeant Electro, uh, Megamorph, Mystic Box. Kazajin and Yomi Ship, one second, that's... Oh, okay, six supers and one ultra and um, nine commons, so yeah, that's quite cool. guess something a little bit different compared to boxes that normally have the standard nine with one rare and possibility of getting a hollow. Anyway, next pack. Yeah, I think... Zubaba Chenho is a really annoying, well, it's, it's very easy to get Ultra out of the set, so it's kind of irritating that it's available um, in the set quite easily. Uh, Blade Knight, Watma, what, no, Watma, Watma, what, no, what Lima, oh my god. Uh, Worm Apocalypse, Playful Possum, Pineapple Blast, Swartz Child Limit Dragon, Butter Spy Protection, Montage Dragon, Needle Ceiling, and another Zubaba General. So, Trollololo. Um, I was expecting that to be a big guy, so I was just getting a little bit excited there. Uh, anyway, Infantity Destroyer. Uh, General Ryo of the Ice Barrier. Mech Lord Army of Grinnell. Butterfly Yoke. Megamorph, and a Adhesion Trap Hole. So, yeah. Um, not bad quality cards. They're all limited edition, which... I don't think it really speaks much for the set, to be honest, because, I mean, at the end of the day, it's only a print on the name, but, yeah. 
I guess limited edition gives it some, I don't know, some more value, I guess. I, I really wouldn't expect it really though, but yeah. Um, Majestic Mech Goryu, Cyber Raider, Gentle Manda, Winged Sage Falcus, Schwarzschild Limit Dragon, Ribbon of Rebirth, uh, Evil Swan Mandragora, uh, Otim, uh, DDS Star Sparrow, and a, there we go, number 11 Big Eye. I was actually going to be worrying if it's going to be another Zubat the General. Um, but yeah, this is number 11 Big Eye, the most expensive card in the set. Um, I think it, in the UK prices, it goes around about 20 quid at the moment, but I mean, it could all change soon. I mean, it could go up actually because of Sylvans, I think, have a lot of level 7s, they do, so I guess Big Eye could be relevant in that. Um, anyway, Nordic Relic Bri uh, Brisingham Gate. Oh, okay. Brising Garmin. Ga Brising Garmin, sorry. I'm not thinking straight today. Uh, Regeki Bottle. Evil Storm Ketos. Uh, Cursed Fig. Red Ogre. War of Illusion. Oh, wow. That's like a. I remember this came in the Yu Gi Star deck. That was quite old. Wow. So, yeah, not too bad now. At least I got the Big Eye, which does. Obviously, make most of my money back because I did get a set, I think, for around about 26 quid. So, this was pretty cheap for me. When this set first came out, it was around about 50, like to well, 50 to 40 ish, but I don't really pay like retail price. So, um, uh, Gentle Manda, Wing Sage Falcos, Swordstar Limit Dragon, Rimbi uh, Ribbon of Rebirth, Evil Swan Mandragora, Otim, DDS for Star Sparrow, Blade Knight, what, uh, what Lima and a safe zone. I knew that was going to happen. Um, yeah, it's the only trap ultra in the set. It's pretty good still. Um, obviously, safe zone is a pretty protected card. The combination with uh, the number 60. Oh no, was it? Yeah, number 66, Musky Beetle, pretty much makes it invincible. Um, so yeah, that's not, not too bad of a card. Uh, f uh, Fabled Soul Kiss, Dodo -do -do Warrior. Midoshi Bapple, Mech Lord Army of Grinnell, Sergeant Electro, and Dark Bribe. Actually, not bad super, I guess. Negates any spell trap, but your opponent gains cards, so... It's, it's very balanced, but, um... I don't know, some people think it's over, like... It's too bad. It's like, it's just... Drawing one for your opponent is, you know, pretty bad in this case. Uh, but yeah, I, I think people normally negate traps more, so I guess you'd probably go with um, Seven Tools of Bandit. Uh, Mog Mole, Skull Kraken, Sauropod, uh, Brachio, Mecha Phantom Beast, Black Falcon, Drac Gallin, Destiny Hero Defender, Stimpak, Power Breaker, Playful Possum, and a High Priestess of Prophecy. So yeah, this is looking actually pretty good. Um, and well, this is the second best card I'd say in the set. Uh, yeah, I think it was around about eight pounds ish in the UK. So yeah, not bad card. I'm pretty happy with this in that moment. Um Sergeant Electro, Shift, Share the Pain, Megamorph, Golem Century, and a Yomi ship. So yep. It's nice that you get six supers plus an ultra, so guaranteed hollows, but whether those hollows are gonna be good or not depends on what you pull. And obviously in the case of my first two packs, I did pull pretty crap with two Zababa Generals, so... Anyway... Uh, Conscription, Cyber Raider, Covering Fire, Dimension Slice, Double Summon, it's a quite good common. Uh, Gentle Manda, actually that's quite a good common as well. Um, I can actually read it because... Uh, when an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can special summon this card from your hand. Your opponent cannot attack any monsters except this one, so... Yeah, it kind of like if your opponent had one monster out, then I guess this could use it as like a defodder. I guess I don't know. Uh, junk forward, uh, yeah, that's not bad. Sky Star Ray, Mecha Phantom Beast, Tether Wolf, and another Zubaba General. Who three Zubaba Generals? Um, this card is. I think this card is like so easy to get in the set. They I purposely made it easy so people would get annoyed and buy more. But whatever. Anyway, um, Mecha Phantom B, Stealth Ray, Adhesive Explosive, Back to Square One, Share the Pain, Red Ogre, and a Kazajin. It's 
random actually because Kazajin in the set is the only um one, well I'm not sure what they're called but it's a part of the Gate Guardian and you know I think it's Suajin and Sangha Thunder if I'm not mistaken so yeah it's kind of strange that they just put Kazajin just in there randomly I don't know what they were thinking I guess they just you know I guess they just like to make fun of not make fun, but you know, just make random things and just think it's funny, I guess. Uh, Jurat Gallim, big eye. Oh, see that? Big eye. It's kind of a troll, I guess. Well, not a troll, but you know, kind of a cheeky like kind of thing. Oh, big eye. Anyway, uh, Garbage Lord, uh, Wattle Mat. Wattle Mat? I keep saying that. What Lima? Oh dear. Uh, reverse Glasses, White Night Queen. Power Breaker, Black Pendant, Skull Kraken, and a Fog King. Um, was actually quite good before, but yeah, without Dragon Rollers, this kind, this card is kind of you know useless really. Um, Legendary Fiend, Arch Fiend of Gilfa. I think that's like one of Yugi's cards, I guess. Um, Blossify Yoke, Nordic Relic, uh, Leviathan, Leviathan, yeah. A Release Restraint Wave and a Shift. Also one of Yugi's card, I think, as well. Shift. Yeah. Anyway, I think I'm down to my last two packs. Hopefully we can manage to pull another Big Eye or another Priestess, maybe. One of those two. I mean, Safe Zone's not too bad either, but uh, I do not want another Zupapa General. This will make it really... Well, it won't make it worse, but, you know, it's, it's kind of annoying. Uh, Sauropod, Brachio, Mecha Phantom Beast, Black Falcon, Jurak Gallon, Destiny Hero Defender, Stim Pack, Power Breaker, Playful Possum, Mecha Phantom Beast, Tether Wolf, Attention, and oh dear, Zubaba General again. That's four Zubaba Generals in one box. Wow. Lucky me, eh? Well, to be honest, look, at least I've got the big eye, but yeah, four Zubaba Generals. Wow. Uh, Butterfly Yoke, a Mecha Phantom Beast Stealth Ray, Evil Storm Ketos, Shaolin the Prophet, Yomi Ship, and a Kazajin. Yeah, it's, I don't know why they made it so easy to get. It's just I don't know what they're expecting to get from this if they made it so easy to get. But yeah. Oh, actually, no, I've got I've got two more packs left. Yeah, so I've been through like ten packs already. Anyway, um. Evil Swarm Oblivious, Needle Ceiling, AD Changer, Worm Jetal Jetalix, I can't even pronounce that. Pronounce that. Um, Majestic Mech Goryu, Big Eye, Heroic Challenger Night Watchman, Lucky Iron Axe, Ryoku Field, and a Safe Stone. Woohoo! Not too bad, I guess. Um, Dodo -do Warrior, Cyber Prima, Medoshi Battle, Nordic Relic. Br uh, rising Garmin, uh, different dimension gate, and a dark core. Yeah, There's a lot of strange cards in this set. Um, I don't know, it's just really random. But anyway, let's go with the last pack. Hopefully, we can get something really decent. Big eye, come on, let's do this. Uh, Worm Apocalypse, Playful Possum, Pineapple Blast, Swatch Child Limit Dragon, Butter Spy Protection, Montage Dragon, Needle Sealing, Mog Mole, Skull Kraken, and a Fog King again. So, kind of disappointing, I guess, that I only got one big eye and one uh, High Priestess, but, you know, it's still good. Uh, Legendary Fiend, Arch Fiend of Gilfa, That Wacky Alchemy, Back to Square One, War of Illusion, and a Red Ogre. Um, I'm not too sure, actually, how many... I think there's... I can read this. Uh, doesn't actually say. Uh, 43 supers in a set and 6 ultras. Which I think I pretty much got all the uh, supers, but yeah. There's nothing special in the supers really apart from Lila or I guess Dark Bribe, but yeah. Anyway, I'll go through the ultras very quickly. So anyway, we managed to get four Zubaba Generals, obviously a very good card, 
Everyone wants that. Two Fog Kings. Two Safe Stones. One High Priestess of Prophecy. Very good. And another, well, another, a one number 11 big eye. So, yeah, the, <laughs> the only two cards that were really good in the set, I guess. Maybe Safe Zone. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to comment, favorite, and like this video. And if you want to see more of these, because I actually do have one more box of this left, um, I could open that. So, if you subscribe, you can see that later. And anyway, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to comment, favorite, and like. And yeah, I will see you later.